Good morning. Nope. Afternoon? No, I think it is still morning. <laughs> I went down to the coffee shop early this morning and uh, worked on my book. And then I came home and I wound some yarn. So this is BC Garn Biobalance, which is 55% alpaca and oh, my glasses on I can't see <laughs> and I'm reading it upside down 55% wool 45% cotton it is pure organic wool and pure organic cotton and there is 200 and oh my god where'd it go 225 meters per 50 gram ball I got the green and the gray, and I'm doing the Andrea Mowry stripes sweater, and I'm just going to flip it back and forth. Her pattern calls for, uh, uh, <laughs> what's it called? Sport weight. I had stripes stuck in my head, and I couldn't get the other S word out. And the BC Garn is fingering. So I played around with the gauge a bit, and I think if I do it on 3.5 needle and I'm going to go down a size and I think that will give me the ease that I want because I don't want a whole lot of positive ease but I want a little so I think that will give me the positive ease I want um, with a gauge that will work and that's about it that's what's going on for August 1st it's sunny right now but I think it's supposed to be cloudy and showers this afternoon. We have today off because it's natal day in um, in Nova Scotia. And I took Friday off, so I had an extra long weekend. And let's see what else is going on. That's about it. That is about it. So I am going to get started on that. Maybe catch up on a little knitting vlogs that uh, are in my queue. And just take it easy for the day. Everybody, I have not been doing much um, vlogging this month <laughs> and I was going to I thought I probably wouldn't do an August vlog but I may actually have enough there uh, I am just this is the end of our vacation I think I think today's Saturday Thursday I started feeling really exhausted which is really unusual for me. Like we went over just to walk around the Halifax waterfront and I kept saying to my husband, I am so exhausted. What's wrong with me? By the time we got home, I started coughing a little and my throat was feeling kind of sore. So the next morning I get up and I went uh, and took a COVID PCR test and this 
which I kind of already knew because I was exhausted. I think I slept most of the day yesterday and I was coughing. I had a headache. My bones were aching. Like just it was awful and my throat was so sore last night so i feel a little better today i'm not as tired um my throat's still sore and i'm still coughing some but not like a whole whole lot yeah so that's been my vacation <laughs> the second half of my vacation <laughs> so needless to say the road trip to mahone bay didn't happen <laughs> The road trip to Wolfville didn't happen. We did get to Lunenburg, although I think that's actually where I probably picked it up because it was a couple days after that that I started feeling crappy, which would be kind of in keeping with the timeline. And also when we were there, like the sidewalks were crowded. It was kind of hard to avoid anybody. So I was kind of in around more people, which I'm usually not around a whole lot of people. So... <laughs> Pretty sure that's where I got it from. I'm going to be working from home until I have to do seven days. So I think Thursday I'll be back in the office. So what I'm doing right now is I am going to, I haven't finished my striped sweater yet, but I've just got this incredible urge to cast on a sweater. So I thought, what, <laughs> another one before I finish the other one, which is always never a good idea for me. But uh, I have one sleeve left to do on the stripe, so I am getting close uh, to being finished. I just didn't kind of have the brain power today to be um, counting rows, and I just, I think I needed the other sleeve I did in, I think, a day and a bit, and I just don't feel like doing a sleeve right now. <laughs> what I'm going to do, I've got some Illimani Baby Llama here. This is from a project I did previously and I can't remember what I would have used this on. This is the exact same yarn and actually the same color. I'm going to be making my Puntzwilla, Puntzwilla, my Puntilla sweater out of. I'm going to swatch because I don't have in my project notes in Ravelry what size needle I used to get the gauge. I took the gauge from my existing sweater and it's 21 21 stitches across and 32 stitches down on a four inch square and the puntilla gauge is i can't see that without my glasses who am i kidding 21 stitches and 30 rows so i'm pretty sure and that's on 3.5 millimeter needles but I think I used smaller needles than 3.5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with 2.75 and see what that looks like. Because I think the reason that I'm getting 31 stitches in the, like, going down <laughs> is probably because the sweater has stretched out a little over time. I'm going to start with the 2.75 and then kind of go from there and see which one I get gauged with. Uh, the downside of, well, not like there's any upside with the COVID, but I was supposed to do a book signing, take part in a book signing at a local bookstore on Sunday, which is tomorrow, that I'm not going to be able to go to now, which really sucks because I was really looking forward to that. I'm going to console myself by knitting gauge swatches. Good morning. It is day. What day is it? It's Tuesday. So this makes it day. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Day five of COVID. <laughs> I am feeling better than I was, but I still have a bit of a cough and a very sore throat and I'm really tired. <laughs> so I went back to work yesterday i didn't go to work i worked from home and i just kind of told them that i was just gonna like take care of some emails and because i'd been on vacation not that it was much of a vacation <laughs> the week before so i just wanted to catch up on like emails and stuff like that and put out any fires but i ended up working 
most of the day. I took a break at lunchtime and just napped for about an hour and a half. I wish we could do that at work every day. <laughs> it would be great. Yeah, I ended up working the whole day. And I got a lot done because nobody was kind of bugging me too much because they thought I was just off. Amazing how much you can get done when you don't have constant interruptions. I get so much done. Uh, my husband still doesn't have it. He's not showing any signs at all. You know what the worst of it was, was my husband and I really needed that week off and we really needed to just kind of like have a week where we could rest and relax and just sort of do our own thing and de-stress. And then, you know, like three days into it, it's like, I mm, feel good. <laughs> I've just had like major cast on -itis. I literally have three sweaters ready here to, to be cast on. I've got the yarn all picked out and ready to go. And I still have the sleeve of my other one to go. And I'm just not feeling inspired to finish it, which is stupid. I think I'm just, I think my concentration is just kind of all over the place. So, but I haven't cast on the other sweaters yet. So I have the two whole Hilo Catelli ones, the super simple summer sweater with the Illimani llama in the kind of DK. It says worsted weight, but it knits up like a DK. So in like a charcoal and a dark gray, which I think is going to be beautiful. And then I have the Hohi Locatelli Puntilla, which I'm also going to do in one of my Illamani yarns in sort of like a, it says gray, but to me it looks like sort of a soft tan gray. The other one is the Midori Hiroshi, I think that's how you say her name, I'm probably butchering it, and it's called the Chestnut or Cedar. It's her new one, and it uses a worsted weight and a mohair. So I've picked out what I'm going to do, the yarn I'm going to do with that, and it's going to be another Illimani because I had enough left over of the charcoal because I already had some of that in my stash. Uh, so I'm going to have enough left over between the leftover and the other one. And then I'm going to hold it together with like a dark gray mohair. But I really, I know I should finish the other sweater first. I just have one sleep left to do. So I might just try to talk myself into doing that and working on that when I have some time today. I do have about an hour and a half before work starts right now. So I think I'm going to watch a little Netflix and chill with a little knitting. Good morning everybody it is Saturday August something 27th 28th I'm not sure anyway it is fairly early in the morning oh the crows are back <laughs> I tried to catch the, the crows but my neighbors made a noise and they flew away anyway it is October Saturday and I am finally over the COVID. I'm gonna see if I can set this here so my arm doesn't get tired. Chuckles wanted to jump up and join us. Let's see if we need some light. Do we need some light? Yeah, sure. <laughs> 
So, uh, yeah, I'm finally over the COVID. It was a long and <laughs> fairly brutal week. I worked the whole week. The worst part was the sore throat. I could not swallow. Obviously, I had to swallow, but man, it was painful. And you don't realize how much you unconsciously swallow until it feels like somebody's punching you in the throat every time you do it. It was awful. Uh, I would say that and the exhaustion was the worst of it but I had pretty much everything. I had a stuffy nose. I had the cough. I had the sore throat. I had the exhaustion. The first two days I had the like body and joint aches, but then that went away. Um, I would wake up through the night with coughing jags uh, and I had to leave, <laughs> leave the room. My husband, he made the decision that he was just not gonna do anything different than he normally does. And if he caught it, then he caught it. But we didn't, he was like, I'm not going to quarantine myself in a room or stick me in a room by myself or whatever. He said, it's not really very practical. He didn't catch it. I've got like an exceptionally good immune system. And between the two of us, I probably catch less stuff. Like I have had the flu maybe a handful of times throughout my entire life. I get a cold maybe once every three years. And I just, I just usually don't get sick. But boy, when I do, <laughs> I make the most of it. I am feeling much better now. I would say my energy, my throat is still, I think, recovering from the soreness and the coffee, coffee, coughing. It's still a little, if I talk too much, it starts to kind of get more like this. I sound like B. Arthur. <laughs> So, and my energy, I would say now, is probably at about 80%. I think by Monday, I'll be able to take Pucha for here, out for her walks again. My husband has been doing it uh, over the past week for me. Because normally, I'm the one that gets up in the morning. And I don't like giving that up because sometimes it's the only exercise I get through the day. Because, uh, you know, you're working in an office all day, you're sitting on your butt, you're knitting, you're sitting on your butt, you're writing books, you're sitting on your butt. There was a lot of butt sitting in my life. Anyway, what it I found too was it was really hard for me to feel motivated to do anything, obviously, because you're just feeling crappy. <laughs> so I didn't want to, I didn't want to work on my striped sweater and I've got one sleeve left to do. I mean, seriously, come on, Kelly. But it's almost like I needed something new. So I did cast on something new. I cast on what I was calling, I was trying to remember the name and I was like, chestnut, cedar, no. It's White Mountains, <laughs> which, which is not even close to anything I had first guessed. So anyways, it's by Midori Hiroshi who did the ranunculus sweater. So I have cast that on. And one thing I also did was I finally, as of this morning, finished both of, well, I had already finished one of my loose socks in my Christmas bark colorway. Actually, this is. <laughs> so that looks lovely, doesn't it? So that is done. And next up, I do understand I have two other socks to finish, but I don't have any on Magic Loop. Oh, sorry, that's not true. I do have one on Magic Loop. It's the one that I'm doing out of my sock set. Regardless. <laughs> I am catching on, a uh, catching on. I am casting on this next. Uh, this is Beach Ball, and it's Self-Striping Yarn by Evie Knits. And that's in her 7525 or 8020. It's her sock base. So that's going to get cast on next. And right now I'm just winding up what's left of my Christmas bark to put that in with my leftover bits. Uh, then later on, I was down at the coffee shop this morning doing some writing. It's the first writing I have done since probably the start of my vacation, which was almost two weeks ago. So I have some catching up to do. I was also working on a budget for what it will look like cost-wise to retire and all that good stuff. 
just, I needed something happy to think about. And then uh, also my car has started making a really loud noise when I drive it. We think it may be a hole in the exhaust. My husband's going to look at it when he gets back tonight. But it's really embarrassing to drive my car right now. I feel like I should be rolling down my window and apologizing to people as I go by. It's really obnoxious. So if I hit a certain speed, it's a little quieter. But then if I stop and start to go again, it's like... <laughs> bad it's really bad so i've got to get that taken care of next week i think what i am going to do is i am going to cast on the sleeve of my striped sweater uh, after i finish doing this and work on that i have to run up a skein of my yarn my mom is knitting a pair of socks out of my uh shut the barn door colorway but she doesn't have enough and I forget why she doesn't have enough for two full socks because her feet are the same as me, mine and I usually have like half a skein left over <laughs> when I'm done. So I said okay I was hoarding um, a skein for myself but I said I'd bring that up and she could have that. I can always make myself more because I've got a fall slash winter update that I have to do for the shop and I'm going to make some more shut the barn door for that. So anyway that is about all. I think I've been rambling now for almost 10 minutes. Look at me go. I don't really have a whole lot for, th for this August vlog. I don't think. It's a lot of me talking I think. I felt like I would do this and try to get that up this weekend because I won't have a podcast going up this weekend because I just didn't know if my voice would hold out for a full kind of usually when I do the episodes it's usually about 40 minutes and then by the time I kind of cut out all the like rambly bits that get too rambly and stuff like that it's more like you know 25 to 30 minutes but I didn't think my voice would hold up like even right now I can kind of feel my voice is starting to get a little <laughs> That's usually a good indication. Shut up, Kelly. Other little updates. I got the uh, cover for my new book that I'm currently working on, which makes me want to really get that finished. And then I also got the rights back to one of my Harlequin books. So now I can publish that on my own. Uh, so I have to get that kind of done and the cover designed for that. That is about everything uh, that's going on. It's so going to cap this off and get the uh, August vlog out. I don't have much for my vacation because after Lunenburg, we really didn't go anywhere. There's not a whole lot there. I think I got a picture of the blue nose. So that was about it. It was really crowded, hence the COVID. So it was a little difficult to to film anything because there was so many so many people around. It was kind of hard to kind of hold your camera out anyway. Yeah, so that's about everything. So I hope you guys had a great summer. I can't believe summer's almost over, but I'm really happy fall's here because that's my favorite season. And this fall, we will probably be down at the Schooner House for our vacation, which starts October 1st. On September 30th, I am filming an episode of the first draft for our local TV station. And what else is going on coming up? Coming up going on this that that's not perf no <laughs> i don't know i don't know what kind of english that was so until then uh i will see you guys for episode 122 which i hope to film next week and uh i will talk to you guys soon bye happy knitting mm -hmm.